Stupid Garbage Podcast. Oh, I like that. Uh, I'm going to throw up. Hi, darling. Hello. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah, you sound good. Yes. Yeah. Ow. No, oh, sorry, that's I'm the sorry. thing that keeps bleeding uncontrollably. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't... I thought it was dirt on your face. Oh, no. Sorry, so just Stop bleeding right now. Okay. I was talking to a bunch of kids today and accidentally nicked it, and then I was like, hey, my nose is going to start to bleed, but don't worry. <laughs> like a normal person. That sounds heroin for a child. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, my face just bleeds yeah, just, from time to time. I've had, I mean, I don't know. I just, like, got my sick of something on my face. My face just bleeds. And I was like... Your nose? This, well, this, like, I've had this weird pore thing that's, like... Jessica decided to do an at-home rhinoplasty in Basically. quarantine. Like, I got too excited with a tweezer and, you know. As one does. Yeah. So, anyway, my face is broken and that's that. Anyway, yeah, I'm good. You are still cute as a button. Thank you. I always will be. Yeah, well. Anyway. Yep. So that's... Your people are known for aging quite gracefully. So. Stop. <laughs> You're so Am cute. Am I going to get gross? No. Ugh. I'm getting Botox the second I get. No, no. More wrinkles. Vetoed, vetoed, vetoed. I already have wrinkles. So what? Who cares? Embrace mother time. When have you ever known me to embrace anything? I'm genuinely speechless. Yeah, you stumped <laughs> me. You stumped me. You got me. I don't hmm. even embrace you. Just well, you're you're, you're lying on top of me right now, so that's not this really true. This isn't an embrace. Mm, this no, is more like how I like a cat would not. use a human as a bed not like i want to be close to you so i'm touching you yeah well i want to clarify that anyway yeah. my darling my jessica mr flat lips my sweet okay <laughs> seems like this is kind of turning into a one-way street oh no where an i heap heap praise upon you and you call me things like mr flat lips <laughs> Which, in addition to not really being a compliment, you'll notice, is also not factually it accurate. Is. I'm looking at your lips right now. They're flat as a board. Okay, I've... Hmm. I love you, though. It's interesting what you bring to the table in many of our conversations and what you have the potential to bring in any conversation. So you have, when talking to you, you have to stay on your toes. One has to stay on their toes. <laughs> is you bring completely novel angles of it like i've heard people call other people or call me or you know whatever i know how to diffuse someone calling me stupid or calling me an asshole uh-huh. or saying i'm fat or saying i'm short like i'm not fat i'm not short i'm not stupid if i was even if i was i would know what to say to that i would have responses ready you say things like mr flat lips <laughs> by the time i've come up with a response I, there's a truck outside which is Pretty serendipitous because I don't have anything to say. But by the, <laughs> by the time I even know if I'm being insulted or not, the conversation's moved on. Yes. And then formulating a response from there is, well, I don't know what to say to Mr. Flat. I was particularly when I say, <laughs> well, Jessica, in my defense, I guess, or, or I don't even know, in reference to that strange comment you made, I don't think it's accurate. And you go, yeah, it is. Well, so I don't know what to do with this that. This isn't like a height thing. Like if you called like, me short, I'd say I'm, I'm almost a foot taller than exactly. you. Exactly. Right? Like it's not, it, this isn't objective. Like your, I guess your lips aren't objectively right, flat. It'd be like if I said, oh, your elbows are so round. What are you going to fucking do? Be like, yeah, mm-hmm. I'd be like, I don't agree. No, then, they're not. And I go, no, I'm looking at them right now, Jess. Well, I'm Look how round this elbow is. You're allowed to have, it is round. You're, you're allowed to have Well, then opinion. if I said it was too pointy. Then I'd say, okay, I think it's round, but you know. No, Jess, this is this whatever angle you put your arm at, your elbow always forms a, a right angle. Sweetie, it I don't know. What to tell you. Look I'm, at this. I'm looking at your lips and they're flat. I'm Jessica. Like I don't know what you want. I don't. I guess I don't really want anything. Again, because I I don't feel only when they're at rest. I don't. <laughs> okay. I don't. It's it's stuff like that too. <laughs> you just keep adding to it. Before I can even get my footing back you <laughs> slam another torpedo into the bow of the ship so again i don't really even know if i'm supposed to defend myself because i'm i don't feel insulted but it it just has the air of an insult you say it's this stuff you say just mr adjective part of body <laughs> <laughs> like if you said mr wide eyebrows it'd be like, oh. That must be an insult because no one, <laughs> no one in the history, Why would you point no it one out? in the history of Western civilization has complimented somebody like that. Yeah. 
Like, look at, <laughs> look at you, Mrs. Bodacious Tits. Like, no one's ever said stuff like that. That's nice. I think that was a compliment. That is a compliment, but no one phrases compliments like that. That's mm. what I'm saying. Are you listening to the words that are coming out of my mouth? Jessica? <laughs> are you awake right now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was woken up so early. So, yeah, at like noon 30. So, anyway, what did we do yeah. yesterday that we're going to talk about now? We watched Drive. We watched Drive, the... Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling Driver vehicle. Movie. Uh-huh. <laughs> Which came out in 2011 mm-hmm. and is apparently on Netflix. Yeah. Unbeknownst to me, I had never seen it. Jessica, Jessica said she had seen it and she said, oh yeah, it's that Scandinavian film where Ryan Gosling has a baby mama. And I said, I don't think any of that applies to this film. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what the fuck... You also, I, before, I you said it. it's someone else besides Ryan Gosling, and I went, no, it's Ryan Gosling, and you went, okay, well, then fine, Ryan Gosling's the one with the baby mama. So you said something like, oh, yeah, it's that it's that Scandinavian film wherein Tom Hanks has a baby mama. I'm really... No, I always thought it was you Ryan talked Gosling. About, no, 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 you said it was someone else, and then Ugh, I said I it's Ryan Gosling. I said it's not Tom Hanks, it's Ryan Gosling, and you went, okay, well, then Ryan Gosling has a baby mama. Whatever, okay, I've I seen don't... the movie. And then you gave me a lot of attitude. no given that you had never seen or f- apparently even heard of this movie and then never apologized. Because I don't think that's what happened. Jessica, this is like when you call me Mr. Flat Lips and I say I don't have flat lips and you go, yeah, you do. <laughs> it is, well, okay, fine. Anyway. Moving on. This is not talking about the movie, so let's talk about the movie. Thank you. Let's talk about the film. Ryan Gosling, mm-hmm. Oscar Isaac, that woman... I don't know her name. Whose name is Marie Kondo. No. No. That's someone else. Uh, Is it Kate? I feel like she was a Kate. I don't think it's Kate. I think it's something with an M. Damn it. But I could be wrong. Let's look it up. Anyway, she looks like a toddler. Carrie Mulligan. Mulligan. Okay. Okay. She looks Mulligan. like an adult toddler. Oh, yeah, and Ron Perlman and Brian Cranston also. Like, I said, if you take this lady and you, like made the background like bright pink and look like a nursery and just zoomed in on her face, I would legitimately think she was a toddler. She has Yeah, she does have kind of a baby face. What else has she been in? I feel like she's been in a lot of things. Carrie Mulligan has oh, she was in The Great Gatsby. She was in Wait, also I have a bunch of comments to update about Never Let Me Go. I don't know if that is I think it was our mini so that I was talking about the whole um Black Lives Matter situation that's happening right now. Doctor Who. Should yeah, I wait until after the movie? Um, uh, boy, 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 boy. No, go ahead. It's Fuck it. Brief. I mean, you probably should, but who cares? Okay. Do whatever you want. Basically, it's funny because like I heard these or, like I saw these stories I believe on BuzzFeed like they sure. covered up, and I was like, oh, weird. Two incidents in the same day or in two days or whatever. Like, and as you know, like we worked out with my brother later, and I gave him like a whole speech about how enraged I was, and like I got mad about it. Yeah. But I didn't realize it was beco- gonna become like this movement. You're rather prescient. Um, Who? What? You, are, ra- stop me when I lose you. Rather, prescient. Stop. Okay. Well, that's What's the end of my prescient? sentence. So, shunt, where the word science comes from, is I think Greek. For the word knowledge, like the, the okay. root word. So like omniscient means you know everything. Uh, Prescient means you can see in the future or you, um, you know things before they happen. Yeah, clearly I am. Yeah. Um, Who could have seen racial <laughs> unrest yeah. boiling over in the United States? Yeah, I mean, honestly, though, I'm so happy that this is happening. Like, it's really cool. And I was saying, too, like, I want to get involved somehow. And then I was like, oh, but how can I... And then literally people are like, we're protesting in the streets. Other people are like, donate to the cause. Other people are like, sign the petition online. And I'm like, oh shit, like people are so creative even during a pandemic. I mean, this was, you know, pre-pandemic stuff. But like, it just, there's a lot of ways to support this stuff and it's cool. I signed a petition today. That's wonderful. To what effect? I don't know. It was like supporting Floyd and it was just like, I think it was petitioning um, the governors or something to arrest the men. The police. Yeah, they got arrested today. One I know of them one did, of them did. The um, the main officer in question. I, think, I mean, he literally man. killed a man. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, not even like and again, like I don't understand how you can like literally have a man physically like underneath you and it's him saying like I cannot breathe and you're just like whatever this yeah. is fine I'm gonna keep him here like what a psycho thing to think. Anyway, 
uh, yeah, so I'm I'm very happy. Like Obama released a statement, and I read that Barack Obama, <laughs> Barack Former. Hussein Obama. Stop it. It's the only way to say his full name. But yeah, and now, so basically, then Trump quoted. He said, like, when the looting begins, the shooting begins. Yeah, which is a quote from, uh, I, th- I think, a white supremacist I screenshotted leader. it. It fucking is, Rob. In the 60s. Yeah. Maybe a governor or something. Let me you see. You can't turn the phone away from me because the microphone. You're right, but I can't read sideways, so it yeah. just, like, becomes a problem. God. I've screenshotted. What did I teach you in school? Also, I'm the one that's going to be talking for the next couple seconds because I have to read it. You can't put the microphone up against my belly. My belly. Jessica, I'm the producer of the show. Hang on, I'm you looking for the picture. You do not tell me what we do with the microphones because you don't. It was mix coined. The levels. It was coined by Miami Police Chief Walter Head Headley in 1967, who was known for his violent responses to black protests and the president. Oh, and the president just quoted him. So mm-hmm. yeah, um, it's pretty fucking crazy. Trump is a fucking psychopath, and apparently, like. Everything was innocent, or not innocent, everything was, like, nonviolent, and then Trump came in and, like, told the police and stuff to, like, tear gas and, like, get in riot gear and shit. I have a feeling that there were, well, yeah, I, th- I think he's saying that he will, I don't know if he has yet, as of today. I'm pretty sure there were protests that got... 10.03 p.m. on May 29th, dear reader. I don't I'm think I'm pretty sure he... protests got violent. <sighs> Let's, let me finish my sentence. I don't think that he has yet mobilized the National Guard. Oh. But I state police I know are being sent into Minneapolis, although you know there must already be state police there. At, but I don't think he, him saying it certainly must embolden some people. But he doesn't give directives to local police officers. Like Donald Trump doesn't call okay, the chief of police in Minneapolis. I mean, maybe he did. I don't fucking know what he does with this. I time, honestly would. Be he he doesn't. He doesn't set. He's the president of the United States. Does not generally set policy in local police matters. There is also like um someone screen. I I screenshotted it too, but I'm I don't want to read sideways again and look for that picture. But basically, with my eyes and an angle. <laughs> basically, like another thing, like apparently, remember that protest that like literally like a bunch of white people. I think they were protesting Corona. White people. And they had like guns on their backs, and they just like walked into a subway. And they were like... Oh, I don't know about a subway, but I know that the, in Michigan... Like a restaurant. They, well, I don't know about a restaurant, but in Michigan, they went into the Capitol building, the state yes. Capitol building. Yeah. No, no, no. Those same people, after their protest, went to Subway to get food. And then people were taking pictures and they were like, literally, if a black person walked into any space yeah. with a gun, like, this is white privilege or whatever. And Trump posted... Please listen to these people. Like it's the American way to do yeah, yeah. this, yeah. and like Trump was like supporting them. And then now that this is happening, he was like, "These thugs are crazy. Like you have my like the United Who like Michigan has thought that the or man... Minnesota. What is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Minnesota. Minnesota has my first. Like they have all of my support. If things get rowdy, I'll send some people in. Like." What the f- like? What a psychopath. Who would have thought that the man who created and led the public charge against the Central Park Five and demanded Barack Obama's birth certificate for a decade <laughs> doesn't like black people. Who could have possibly seen that coming? But it just, like, I don't understand. How did this happen? Again, I have to have a very long talk with a couple of my family members because I, like, I don't understand. I want to see how they'll deny this one because it's ridiculous. Um, Go ahead. Call them out. I will. I'm going to read them. Call them out on the pod. No. Oh, um, also, there are, like, literally people that are protesting, I know, which is, like, the opposite of what I'm saying, but... Your great-grandmother's a racist. No. My great-grandmother is not alive, but... Might have been a racist. Maybe. White anyway. lady born in 1904. Mm. Um, okay. Anyway. Statistically, um, probably. Anyway, but um, apparently two protesters, any protesters that have been caught on camera... Yeah. And, like, are being posted on social media. Like, people are apparently hunting them down and, like, burning them. Burning them which is on social media? What no, no, no. Literally physically burning them alive to kill them. Mm, that, I'm sorry. I'll, I read it. Back up. It's gotta be true. From the top. People who go to these protests. Like, in, there, there was another. Like prote- the protests that have been the past two days in Minneapolis. Yeah, people are killing People them. are going out into the streets. Apparently. And they're marching. Yeah. And some of them are rioting and looting, but a lot of them are just marching, right? Yeah. They post videos on social media. Yeah. People see those videos on social media, track down through the internet in 2020, you can find anyone. Yep. The people in the videos, find them in real life. Yeah. 
and light them on fire. Yes. That's, that sounds like propaganda. They or... did that, I think, like, they said in the last, like, the, the last issue where, I think the last, like, black person that was killed by police, apparently they did that and they burned some of the people that were in those protests, so they're, like, this could happen again. Was this for Trayvon Martin? Was this look. for, was this the Ferguson riots? I want to say it was Ferguson. Protests. I remember... I I am not saying that's wrong, but I don't think that's right. <laughs> I don't think that's correct. You can't keep moving them. I'm sorry. I'm trying to find it. All right. We'll do whatever you want, I guess. I don't, I don't care. I care much less about the quality of the podcast than... Anything else in your yeah. life? Yeah. I was going to say that I care about the, the quality of our conversation. I, I care less about the audio content uh, quality, rather. Oh. The, the content quality, but I, I, you could just end it there. I don't care about the podcast. That's true. I can't find it. That's shockingly. Okay. Did you see it on social media? Instagram, obviously. Yeah, this sounds like something Whatever. that's made up. Or, I'm gonna choose to or a it. warning, or you know, uh, a fictionalized account of something. Well, we'll see the next so coming so days sad. if people get burnt. Yeah. Okay. I mean that. Yeah. We'll see what yeah. happens. I guess. But I'm all. I'm. I'm very happy that America's freaking the fuck out because I feel like it's good. Um, literally everyone I know is, like, posting about it on social media, which, like, again... Hashtag, look at me. Well... Hashtag, I'm contributing. Yeah, it's, it's... Hashtag... It's weird. I'm protesting from my couch. Hashtag, this will bring about change, right? I mean, it's hard, because, like, I don't want to go protest in the streets, because I could literally die or get, like, tear gas. Like, that sounds really scary. There aren't protests by us anyway. Exactly. For what it's worth. Yeah. To defend your inaction... There's yeah. not. I mean, you could start a protest, I guess. Yep. Yeah. And um. <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah, I guess I could. Also, like, there's a pandemic, so like, I don't want to get a. It's bunch not of a great together. time to march in the streets. Yeah. Um. And again, like, Trump is a psychopath, and like, I'm afraid of psychopath. Yeah. He went cuckoo for cocoa puffs. He was the first one to do that. Yes. Yeah, that explains all of this. So yeah, it just. Whatever. I'm glad that things are happening. I hope that things will change. I hope that white people will fall, to be honest. You have, you have this habit, uh, just kind of a non sequitur here. Oh, no. Or children screaming outside. <laughs> if you're lucky, you might hear one. Uh, make a wish, podcasters. Maybe we'll cast one, catch one. Ugh. We. Ugh. Podcast listeners, if you hear them, you get uh, seven years of good luck. So anyway, you have a habit of putting, in summer months in particular, you put your legs on me. And then you wait until one or both of us start sweating. And then you take <laughs> your leg off me. And I'm left... Kind, not covered, but I'll say left with a fine mist <laughs> of perspiration that I don't I don't need sweat on my shins and my shins alone while I'm sitting on the couch, so or in bed or wherever. So I'm I'm not even asking you to stop. I'm just letting you know you do this. Okay, it's I'm, more of a PSA. I'm not gonna stop, and okay. I feel it too. I'm also wet now, so girl, she. <laughs> That's all you had to say. So yeah, uh, we have uh, racial discord. In the United States. Yeah. Big surprise. Um, I mean, going like, back at least, I don't know, 500 years, basically. So like, I feel like go? I never see it because, obviously, like, I'm white. So I've never gotten stopped by a police officer that was anything but, like, really nice to me. So, like, I don't... And, like, I had black friends growing up and, like, not a... Like, we were never in a situation that... You had black friends growing up? Yeah. I mean, I didn't have, like, black like, close black friends, but, like, they were a part of the crew that I went out with. I, interesting, having met the people who I have met, I... didn't hang out with people from our town. Yeah, I guess that adds up. Yeah, your, your school, like, from yearbook pictures and shit like that, is, like, your graduating class was, like, 85, very, as white as you or whiter Jewish kids. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, like, we were all under 5'10", every single one of us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're very, you know... Small Jewish white You ever people. notice how people in Jessica's graduating class are, uh, you know, really miserly and own all the property <laughs> in America? Stop? Um, I wish. But anyway, so, yes. But, like, all of the goth kids from my school, like, we were a small group because we were weird and, like, there aren't many of us. Like, all of our weird goth people would, like... My friends would recruit goth people from all the other towns around. Do so, black like, goth kids wear all white? Stop. I'm wondering if it's about black not, or if it's about contrast. It's not. No, it's about black. Oh, okay. Black they like kind your of soul. Ha, they kind of have an edge up on you then. They do. You could be the best goth kid there is. 
black hair, black skin, black eyes. I'm saying. You're being weird. If you're from like South Africa and you're super dark, you would be. Uh, Yeah. I'm just saying if you had to pick one person on the planet to be a prototype. Do you want to start the goth blackface trend? Like if you no, no. (laughs) No. I do not. We don't need to you don't need to sing Mammy to be goth. But I'm just saying if you were to present like to an alien race the sure you know like the vitruvian goth you would pick a very very dark person although i do for some reason goth people love to be really really white so i, you that might, I think is you confusing. flipped that you flipped that super white people love to be goth no 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 like goth mm. people will specifically like not go out in the sun cuz they want to be as white as possible oh uh, well that's cuz they want to they it's like a vampire relate to vampires yes. yeah so like a black person is not usually depicted as a vampire I guess vampires aren't usually depicted as being black. Yeah, why not? Because everyone's... You know, there's another thing. I, Hollywood's racist. Well, I think it's a number of... Well, there might be some African vampire legends. I think there are. And Blade was a but black not, vampire. The, I think, like, the mainstream vampire stuff was from, like, England or something. Yeah, usually European. Well, yeah. no, I mean, Dracula... Well, Dracula took place, at least, in, in Transylvania, which is Romania, but it's not England. In Romania, it's still pretty white. Yeah, yeah, it's Central South, I think. It's in the Balkans, isn't it, technically? I don't, I don't know. know. Anyway. Uh, <coughs> but yeah, <coughs> regardless, Excuse me. none of the black kids that we hung out with ever, like, there was never a situation where someone, like, a cop treated... You've never been witness to racial prejudice. Exactly. Um, and... Truly, like this could be really ignorant. Go ahead. But I, again, like I didn't know this was happening, and like without social media saying what was happening. that, like cops were oh this racially targeting thing. people. Like I didn't know that. You didn't know this. Let me stop you before you keep going. You didn't know this specific incident had happened, or you didn't no, I didn't. Know... Okay. I'm saying like I, without all of these incidents happening, you didn't I wouldn't police know. Profiling was a problem. Yeah, like I've I've never. No. That's fucking crazy. And I feel like also, like, we live in New York, which I think is probably a little bit more... Like, there's probably less prejudice here than in, like, Minnesota. Well, you're always tempted to say that where there are more people of color, there is less racial disharmony. Well, also, New York is just more liberal, too. Well, I guess that's true, especially the city, yeah. But it, it might also be... It's really easy to not... If you're white... And in Vermont, it's really easy to not be racist because you're not. There are no, there black, no black people. people. Yeah, which is always it. it that I mean, baffles me when you see apparently people in like mainland China are, from what I've heard from people who go there, they are the most heinously racist <laughs> towards, uh, black people like on the planet. Really? Yeah. Anywhere. Yes. Anywhere. You would Why? you would be better off going to Missouri or Alabama in 1948 if you're a black man Literally than going why? to China today. I don't know. That's what boggles my mind. I don't understand how you've developed this racism against black people when there are no black people. That's crazy. You have two billion people and zero of them are black. It's just how like, did this happen? I guess again, like in where my, does this vitriol come from? Just naturally. In my tiny tiny community, as you know, it was like all white growing up. Like yeah, my the whole tribe. life, just just white. Yeah. But again, like I lived close to New York City, like I and like all of the towns around where I live were predominantly not white. Mm. Like this town was mostly Hispanic, this town is mostly I'm, black, I'm, this no, town. No, yes. I'm going to I'm going to call into question that you think the demographics of Westchester are anything but predominantly white. I think that where we live right now is, is not going to say the name of the town cuz stalking still but, predominantly really? white. Really? Yeah. There's still there's a lot of different that races we have. here. That we have neighbors who have brown skin doesn't... No, I'm not saying literally our neighbors are Here, not look, white. I'll look it up. I'll but, look it up. like, again, like, when I walk down the street, Ooh, I feel raining. like it's a good amount of... That's fun. ...variety. Yeah, like, uh, like any any good bag of Skittles, you gotta get all the colors in. But, let but me seriously, see. like, uh, I, I don't know. Um, like, my two closest friends right would, now are you... literally immigrants. Like, they came from other countries this past year. Yeah, or they're, like... they're, Can- they're whiter than you are. They're no. from Canada. And India. Oh, oh, I thought you meant... But either way, like, they're white, but I'm just saying it's like, you gotta get that variety, you know what I mean? How, how, what percent would you guess Westchester, the county, is white? I'm not saying the county, I'm saying the city that what? we're living in. I, I'm saying, because you started by the saying... The county, like, probably like 85. 85% white? Yeah. That, that seems high. I hope it's less than that. Uh, let's see. Because that, there are a lot of places in Westchester that are close to bordering the Bronx. Yeah, I think Yonkers is also pretty... Um, 
That's I think if I just keep listening. White, it looks like sixty. Sixty. See, it's... but that's still that's still more white than everything else combined. Oh, but yeah, but it's uh, anyway. I don't know, Rob. Okay. Yeah, our our town is actually slightly higher than Westchester. What? In general. In the amount of white people? Yeah, white people is 61%. Other race is 17%. Oh. Black or African American is 12 Yikes. Etc. Yikes. Okay. And then everything is less than that. Okay, well, look, it shows Other how race much probably I know. probably predominantly being Hispanic. What about the U.S.? white Hispanic. How many, what's the... I think it's about that, too. I think it's like 63% okay. That's white. That's what I'm saying. We live in a good sample size. Like, it's not... Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say sure. that we live in a... You know, right, we're, but, we're not the minority, but also, but like... But you saying, like, it's more... Like, in the South, there's... I think there are states where there are more black people than white people. But the United States has yeah. 13% What was my black point? People. But it's just, you know, they okay. had a lot of slaves. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. hundreds of years. But I'm saying... What, what was my point? Why was I going to bring up the fact that I had always been a... Re- oh. I think, like... I don't know, man. It just... It's crazy that people... Like... Oh, I remember. Right, right. I've always been around a mixture of different races at mm-hmm. some capacity, and like, I'm not right. Like, I feel like if you if you literally like interact with people of other races, you realize we are literally all just people. Like, I don't understand. I don't all get it at we all. We are saying. It just doesn't make sense give to me. Peace a chance. How someone from like China could see a black person and be like bad. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? White alone, not Hispanic or Latino, because there's something like yeah, yeah, yeah. 15% white Hispanic. But just non-Hispanic or Latino white in the United States is about 61%. Mm. And then I think okay. Hispanic and Latino non-white is about 16%. And then African... It's still the largest. Yep, African Americans 13 Asian is 6%. American that Indian, Alaska, yeah, yeah. American Indian and Alaska Native alone is one and a half percent. Pacific Islander is less than one percent. Weird. I, is mm. it true? That's what it says. Weird. Okay. Anyway. Um, oh wait, no. Mm. Hold on. You keep talking. Okay. I mean, I don't have anything else to say. I'm just. It just no, makes me incredibly it. sad that police are cunts and. Like, what? Especially someone that... I mean, I think, like, there are two types of people that go into law enforcement, and I'm going to be prejudiced about that right now, but... Like, it's people... It's people that, um, obviously, like, want to do good in the world and want to make a difference and, like, enforce and protect... The law. Or, yeah, enforce the law and protect the people of America. Like, yay, good for you. The judge dreads of the world. Sure. And then you have the people that have a superiority complex or an inferiority complex that need that feeling of power to get them off, you know what I mean? Sure, the evil Judge Dread clones of the world. Yeah, like, you know, the people that are just like, oh, well, no one will fuck with me if I have a gun in my hand, exactly. so let me figure that, like, it's just... The RoboCop pre-cop, pre-Robo, rather, and the <laughs> RoboCop post-Robo. Conundrum. I don't know any of the references you made about the this. The Terminator 2 Arnold Schwarzenegger versus the Terminator 1 Arnold that Schwarzenegger. That literally means nothing to me. Good cop, bad cop. Sure, yeah. Yeah. That's the yeah, ticket. Yeah, I got her. But yeah, um, you know, so I think that a lot of the people, like, it just, police officers should not be allowed to be racist. It just doesn't, like, you should screen them. I don't understand. Well, I don't fucking get it. you know, what are you going to do, you know? If, screen them. I know, but how do you screen, first of all, how do you screen someone for being racist? Second of all, it, I would, a lot of police forces need more people they need more uh, officers and they have a shortage of officers and no one wants to do the job because it's dangerous and doesn't pay particularly well yeah. and you know it's, people don't tend to like police officers obviously and but then you're going to attract people that are bad because yeah but, you, know, you know there's no incentive to join the police force except you know needing to have a gun to feel big and strong and manly well yeah, I mean, I don't know. What to, I don't know what to tell you. It's uh, crazy. Yeah, there's again, there's civil unrest. There's a protest in uh, San Jose today, California. About 
where about this and yeah. they shut down they formed a human chain across the highway i think i saw that yeah <laughs> so i didn't read it but i saw the header civil disobedience baby it's good like america you know it's cool that we can just do this and just start rioting and being psychopaths and hopefully i mean nothing will change at all but i hope it does i hope i'm wrong yeah we'll see I mean, what um, do you do? I mean, I, I think once Donald Trump... Trump called them thugs, so that's a good start. The protesters? Or... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's always fun. Yeah. Dog whistle politics at its finest. He's in the Oval Office. What can you do? Cry. Like, on it, like, if Trump gets I reelected... I cry every day about the situation in the United States. I pray for my brother across the Atlantic. New character I'm working on? Just like a French... Just French Bernie bro. Okay. I wish I was an American citizen, not because I am jealous of your rights. I find that you are mostly oppressed people, but my one regret in life is that I have not been able to vote in a state primary for perennial runner-up Bernie Sanders. I think the... Be able to cast an empty vote as he gets outbid by millions and millions of votes across the country. The French? Bernie Sanders. Yeah. When I went to France, like, I remember I was, like, lectured by someone that was just, like, you... I mean, she wasn't lecturing me, but she was just, like, you need to be more politically active. Like, you need to riot in the streets. Like, America has gotten so complacent. Like, you guys, like, the French are so much more active in politics, and we protest every little thing and things get done and i'm just like i feel like like i i don't know the french the french get shit done apparently they do protest a lot i mean the i really as far as developed nations go the united like states so do we. probably has well never really amounts to anything the problem well, with a lot of american protests is that not so much these ones that are happening right now but a lot of them are like the women's march on washington or like for example occupy wall street it's people going to a public space Applying for a permit to protest, walking for two hours along a, you know, a city st- sanctioned or state sanctioned, whatever route with their signs and then posting about it on social media and going home. There's no real, again, for the Women's March, for example, it's like, oh, Donald Trump says bad things. So we're going to march in the streets to show that's not good. But to mm-hmm. what end? Like, you're not saying like for in the in the Birmingham bus boycotts, they said you are segregating the buses. We don't like that. We're not going to ride your bus until you stop segregating. Yeah. That was an actionable goal. Yep. That protest was the engine to achieve that goal as opposed to saying like, oh, we're going to go march against sexism. It's like that's, you know, sexism is bad. Sure. But you you can't say like, oh, yeah. we're, we're going to go end hatred. It's like that's. Yeah. It's like having, it's like the, all these vague, like, oh, the war on terrorism. It's like, no, man. I mean, aren't we're... these protests to like get justice for them like to these these specific ones are there are two things about them is they're much more targeted like these specific ones over the last few days are targeted a lot of them aren't uh, well i guess they are a lot of them are reactionary in these cases um yeah wherein they're saying like oh this person's already dead we're going to hold this vigil we're going to hold but these ones are very targeted and these ones the, the the second part of the problem with those protests like the women's march is that even if you said like oh we want donald trump impeached yeah. And removed from office yeah. because he's sexist, which is not an impeachable offense, really. But even if you said, like, that's our goal, yeah. if you go and then you march in the street for two hours, then you go home, you're not going to achieve that goal. Why? Because no one's going to be motivated to, if you're, let's like you're say... you're not threatening anyone. Yeah, if, let's say you're yeah. Donald Trump and you're sitting in the Oval Office watching people walk around the White House. You go, okay, if I don't do anything about this, they're going to go home in an hour. It's literally just like why, an embodiment. Why would, I, why would I have to even address this, let alone... It's an embodiment of like a social media thread where it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah we oh, hate him, yeah. 100%. So that's why well, a lot of people what say... What are you supposed to do in that situation? Like bring you, guns and shoot the White House? Like what do you Well, do? you don't have to start... Let's not even say that because... Well, Saying you are going to kill the president is a felony. But, I'm not um, saying that I'm going to do it. I'm saying what would you propose that protesters well, do to... Uh, you don't to necessarily... A lot of people do, but you don't necessarily have to open fire against government officials. But the, the point, like these things where they shut down the, the highway, right? Yeah, okay. Civil okay. disobedience is... People okay. always talk about... Um, like you're actively fucking shit up. It's disobeying rules of civility, which are most often referred to as laws. You break uh, the law. Most people, uh, everyone always talks about that. Wasn't civil disobedience like Gandhi where he was like, I'm not going to eat? 
Well, no, that was his hunger strike was uh, more like to get attention. But oh, this, he did the civil that. disobedience was like the march to the sea. Yes, the civil disobedience was, was something about the ocean. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. To protest the salt. That? Well, so like for example, in the in the scope of American race relations, like sure. civil disobedience is or like uh, not leaving the bus. Like the bus boycotts, right? That's well, the bus boycotts not really even civil disobedience. It's just boycotting something. That's not even no, civil no, 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 disobedience. Like how she Rosa Parks refused to leave. Yeah, is civil disobedience. Yes, yes, yeah, that's what I meant. Uh, or Claudette Colvin, who did it, you know, almost a year before, oh. and who was I think fifteen at the time. Claudette oh. Colvin is a real was she killed? Forgotten... No, no, no. I think no. she's still alive, in fact. But Rosa Parks was chosen to do it because she. For a lot of reasons. She was older and they thought that she'd be taken more seriously. She yeah. was like a secretary at the, maybe the NAACP, but okay. I don't think so. And she was, um, I think she was chosen specifically because she was attractive. Okay. And like they wanted um, her to be a spokesperson they wanted to be, for the issue. Yeah. On, you know, her paper, her paper, her photo in newspapers and, and so et cetera. Funny. So, okay. but anyway. Uh, I mean, whatever yeah. works, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the civil disobedience, people always cite the two big, uh, the two big, figures of the american civil rights movement are malcolm x and martin luther king and malcolm x is more um the violent protesting Mm -hmm. and the advocate for claiming part of africa for african americans and stuff like that um and you know saying we did not land on plymouth rock plymouth rock landed on us and the peaceful side which people always say like oh one out in the end martin luther king yeah people say oh the peaceful protests are what get results, but that's kind of bullshit that's been propagated by people who have a vested interest in not having violent protest. Mm. People, the uh, they can bring about change and bring attention to a cause, but at this point, these causes aren't flying under the radar by any means. And it wasn't sit-ins or a bus boycott that brought about the Civil Rights Act of 1963. It was the Birmingham riot, mm. riot in 1963 that caused Kennedy and eventually Johnson, because Kennedy was killed, to enact the Civil Rights Act. Mm. These were these things that... And even Martin Luther King, he was he preached nonviolence, but he also... They linked arms in, across a bridge in Selma to stop traffic. They He wrote a letter from Birmingham jail, yeah. having been arrested, right? He said, just like we aren't going to let any dogs or water hoses turn us around, we aren't going to let any injunctions turn us around. They can say that we're here illegally and they can send in the National Guard. Let them send the National Guard. Let them arrest every single yes. one of us. So it's... That's cool. Yeah, but so with... Look, I support it. Literally, whatever. I don't want to talk about any involvement oh, because, again, I'm under the impression that they're going to hunt us down and kill us. But I don't know I would where, love to get involved. That sounds like... Riding is right up my alley. That man. sounds like bullshit propaganda that someone said to try and dissuade people from protesting. And hear me out. Let's fucking riot. It's right in the streets. Straight up. If there is a riot that comes to New York, I don't know how we'd hear about it, but I'll fucking do it. I'll, I'll fuck up a highway. I don't care. Life is a highway. I, I want to wanna block it all day long. There you go. Yeah, so, I mean, things like that, again, like, the violence, sure. Who is that? that? Can is get that Rascal messy. Flats? Yes. Oh. That can get messy. But, again, like, protests, or, like, blocking a highway, again, is, like, civil disobedience in a way that's not, it's not non-violent, like, it is non-violent, but, it, you know. I don't think I'd go any farther than that, because I would die immediately. Like, the second a cop got all, all up in my face, I don't think I'd be able to back down, and I'd get Oh, did you see that head. fucking crazy video of, I, I, I'm assuming it's in Minneapolis, because the epicenter, you know, this... Sure, and this, I'm assuming I haven't the seen the video, so... Murder was in Minneapolis, and then all these... Big protests are in Minneapolis. Of course, San Jose is not in Minnesota. Sure. But there was a video, I think, posted yesterday of uh, a big group of people protesting. I, I don't even think they were protesting violently. I think they were just marching in the street. And it was at a big intersection. And uh, first, a cop car came, like, barreling through at, like, 30 miles an hour. Yikes. And people had to, like, jump out of the way of the car. And then a Bro. second cop car came a little slower, like, let's say 15 miles an hour. Sure. A couple seconds later, with the window rolled down, just spraying pepper spray Yikes. out the window just spraying mace indiscriminately Yikes. driving at by people. at a crowd of people yeah. not even trying to disperse them they were like just leaving Bro. they were leaving the area they weren't even dispersing them they were like just driving how through is that legal during it's probably extremely not it's probably okay. frankly in addition to not being you know against whatever minnesota law it's probably a fucking war crime yeah 
it, and it's not really people, the best time to do it during the midst of a global pandemic yes. that attacks the upper respiratory tract. That's what I saw. They were like, it is, I cannot explain how, like, Or is it lower? Cool. I think it's upper. I don't know. But I'm I saw sure a upper. response to that video that I'm only now realizing was a response to that video. But she yeah. was saying, like, I cannot, like, the amount of just straight up evil that is spraying people with mace during a pandemic is just ridiculous. Yeah. Let me see if I can find it. Because the video, the video I saw at least was 10 seconds long. Um, Why? Like Minneapolis is under curfew. Really? Yeah. Man, I love this. This is like another thing to add to the fucking 2020 craziness. Like, why is this fucking happening? Yeah, although to be fair, well, this it's... is some iteration of this has been happening. Sure. For a long fucking time. It's honestly like... It's it's so infuriating how this keeps happening. Like I don't understand how like why 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 are why are white people murdering people? Why? Yeah, I mean it's crazy. There I saw it's a just, I saw like, another how... video of um And like you you search for it's all this the only thing coming up is topless woman from like 3 years ago. Topless woman gets in mace fight with pol- police loses in Los oh, Angeles. No. So that's not um, it. I feel like also, like, this this whole thing, um, like, they're still literally, like, I saw a post that was really cute about, um... Mace out the window, not Mace window. Thank you, autocorrect. <laughs> um, there was a thing, like, it was a couple, and it was, like, a black man and a white man, and they were in a relationship, but they were, like, married, and I was like, oh, that's so cute, and I was like, holy shit, like, these people are living in the South, like, I can't, like, the fact that you are black and gay... Yeah, too. Like, like Here, it's this, just, this is are... a 21 second video okay. that I will show you, and it will make the best of radio. Just click okay, play whenever yeah. you want. You can keep talking while I watch this video. Yeah. It's, Talk uh, about the gays, because I feel like, I don't, like, why are we discriminating against gay people? Yeah, people? I mean, it's not great. I, I don't know if there's audio playing. Yeah, there is. Oh, just. Yeah. Oh, and it's, like, very strong, and it's at specific people. It's oh, not it's even huge. into the crowd. It's, no, like... it's Yeah, it's, like, just anyone they're driving by gets hit with a 20-foot cloud of pepper spray. But it's, like, it, it's very strong and very uh, targeted. Like, it's not, like, a a cloud, like, mist. Like no, I no, I mean, it. it's, no, man, it's fucking mace. It's, like, a fire hose. Like, it's, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. really... Yeah, it's a projectile um... weapon. Yeah. As is the point. What, so what is mace? You can't breathe? Well, I there are different and types of. it burns of, your eyes I and think stuff. Pepper spray. Uh, mace is. I mace is a spice, but that's unrelated. Mace <laughs> is also, I think, just the term for like a lot of different types of. Yeah. Uh, aerosol irritants. Like, I there are mace specifically for bears that I don't think. For I think example, it's like the thick, ones that they're using. Like soap or something. Um, probably pepper spray. Let me see. What is that? Mace. Like that makes you mace feel like you can't breathe. Up. It well pepper spray it. Uh, makes your eyes it irritates your eyes very badly yeah um and your throat as well that's and, psychotic like the yeah. throat thing is mace is the oh mace is the brand name i didn't know that of so you know it's like xerox or something um sure. of an early type of aerosol self-defense spray yeah i think mace is usually for like a woman yes. walking home alone right every single woman that I i've think... ever spoken to has told me to buy mace right i think mace is let's see first commercial product of its type the design packaged Phenicil or phenicil, I don't know. Phenicil chloride tear gas dissolved in hydrocarbon solvents into a small aerosol spray can. Ba ba ba. Credible deterrent and incapacitate when sprayed in the face. Incapacitate seems like a very vague. Popularity, yeah. Led to the name mace being used commonly for other defense sprays, regardless of their composition, and for the term mace to be used in reference to being pepper sprayed. It is unrelated to the spice mace. That's what I said. Okay, that did not. So pepper spray is. So a it burns your eyes and throat. Chemical compound that irritates the eyes to cause a burning sensation, pain, and temporary blindness. Jesus. Blindness used in police, oh riot control, crowd control, self defense, including defense ah against dogs and bears. Again, though, like none of its the... inflammatory effects. Here you go. Cause the eyes. Sorry, not to interrupt. It's okay. To close, taking away vision. This temporary blindness allows officers to more easily restrain subjects and permits people in danger to use pepper spray in defense. Uh, for an opportunity to escape, it also causes temporary discomfort and burning of the lungs, which causes shortness of breath. So there you go. Apparently on the, sco- the sco- so scary. Scoville scale, or Scoville scale, I, I don't know, 
uh, it is somewhere between a two million and a four point five million, and I think the what hottest. Does that mean? It's that's the scale that's used for measuring how hot a pepper is, like okay. when you eat it. Um, I think the hottest pepper is like three million. It's like whatever the Carolina Reaper. Um, let me see Scoville ratings, blah blah blah. Okay. I, and I think an, I think a jalapeno is normally said to be like eight thousand. Oh my god! And pepper spray is somewhere in the range of three million. Oh my god! Yeah, bro, I would okay. So die. here we go. Most 1.5 to 3 plus is most law enforcement grade pepper spray and then a couple of a Pepper X, Dragon's Breath, a Carolina Reaper. Yeah, so it's it's as hot as or maybe hotter than the hottest pepper oh my in existence. God. And so anytime you see people eating like but a lot Carolina of people Reaper like get ghost really, pepper, really sick. they scream for like an hour. And like some people literally they, like vomit, I, they, they start hallucinate. sweating. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's it's, horrifying. Oh yeah, no. I mean, there's a reason why it's used for crowd control. There's also like why a... it's a deterrent for grizzly bears. Well, that doesn't mean anything to me. Like, so could, you know. So could what? Like anything that would be a deterrent to a grizzly bear would be a deterrent to me, and vice versa. Like it's you know. No, I think there are things that are. I mean, no. small caliber guns can't be used against grizzly bears in some cases. They have very thick fur. Their bumblebees have to sting bears in the nose because they can't aren't... penetrate their fur. Oh. Their eyes aren't different than my eyes. No, but you would think... And I'm assuming their tolerance to spice is no different than mine. Mm, I guess that's probably So right. I feel like if you're... Yeah, right. Like, don't fucking spray animals with pepper Yeah, but bear. like a charging grizzly... Well, all right. Yeah. All right. Sure, I get it. You want something strong and you want them to stop right this fucking second. I get yeah. it. Like, I understand why someone who is in a life or death situation would spray a bear for whatever. Like, I honestly don't even think I'd ever buy mace because I don't want to, like, hurt another human being that badly. Well, but the like, point is that you don't, you don't use it, you don't use it uh, frivolously. I know, but, like, yeah, unless a man was literally, like, on top of me and I was 100% sure he had the intention of hurting me. That's when you use it. I know, but, like, most, I've seen a lot of, like, videos and stuff of women that use it. Like, if a guy comes anywhere near them, they'll just spray him. Mm, it's like, that's not... I... I would be careful about making statements like that. Sure. Because sure. you might be that sort of person. Well. You might bring it to a rave. Yeah. Instead of silly No, but like, but... I think a lot of women, it's like, I'd rather be safe than sorry. So like, if, I don't, if yeah, a man pepper even, spray silly string. If a man even follows the... Seems like an overlap in a Venn diagram that no one is really catering <laughs> to yet. Um, I don't know. party yeah. fucking hard. I think there's like a very thin line with... Um, thin blue line. Listen. I'm listening. Like, if, like... How do you know if someone's going to attack you? Like if if again, if a man is just like following me a little bit too close or a little bit too fast, that's not a reason to pepper spray him, but also no, like No, it's a reason to get out the pepper spray in case. Yeah, I guess. I just feel like by the time I would be convinced that a man is trying to hurt me, it would be too late to even raise my arm up to pepper spray him. Well, I, well, I guess know. you could just threaten. Start early. And be like I have it. Yeah. Fuck off. Have and a then... little sewing kit. Sew your vagina shut anytime you come across a man who might be raping you. Those, these are the two options. You sew your vagina shut or you carry pepper spray. Or men could just stop raping. Yeah, but anyway. come on. Let's, well, I mean, that's... God, okay, let's... I guess next oh episode <laughs> we'll talk about drive. <laughs> As mean, for right now, we just ended, I think, racial prejudice in the United States. So good job, just, us. And, it's hard. Uh, like, I'm yeah. not, you know... Like, you, as you know, like, I always yell at you for being racist on this podcast, and, like, you know, I don't... No longer will you have to, because we did it, racism is over. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, like, again, I'm super ignorant, and I come from a super ignorant, or, like, just an... I'm not exposed to a lot of things, or I haven't been, but also, like... Exposed to this dick! I don't understand how literally, like, people could be dying for no reason, and some white person could look at it and be like, that's fine, I'm glad that's happening. Like, that's straight up... It's just not humane. It's like looking at an animal... At first, they came for the trade unionists. I don't know what you're doing. And I did not speak out because I was a trade unionist. Not a trade oh. unionist. Then they came for the socialists, and I did not speak out because I was not a socialist. Then they came for the Jews, and I did not speak out because I was not a Jew. And then, they came for me. For everyone. And there was no one left to speak for me. It's a poem by a German... It doesn't matter. I've actually In heard it In reference to the before. Holocaust. Yeah, I've heard it before. Yeah. I'm, like, really cultured. It's the same thing. People, if they're yeah. not... If it's not affecting them, they don't... But I'm care. saying, like... Because, again, like, i Or, I'm, like, Donald Trump, they actively think that these people are 
doing something to yeah like instigate and bring this upon them don't get me wrong i will admit that i'm overly meek about this like i'm not protesting in the streets and i'm not posting on social media which i probably should but like my social media is my professional account you don't even post on social media for your professional account exactly like i'm just not very active on social media and if i had a personal account that i used i would definitely have posted on it but again to the point that doing Posting things on social media isn't going to do anything. Well, who, I don't it, I think know. this... It's still... It would I make think, me feel better about I think my that, lack of that's action. The, that is the problem. I think yeah. the, the <laughs> popularity of social media and yeah. the rise of people... God knows where this came from. I, I'm not going to say it was a concerted effort by some groups or anything. I just think it was organically people flocked to social media as a way to virtue signal and brag about oh hashtagging something important yeah. or changing their facebook profile picture to support game or whatever the fuck but again like i think people do that in lieu of actually fucking doing anything I, and that's a real goddamn problem i signed that petition which i feel like the whole point of that is to actually create change right sure but i signed that petition because someone i was following on social media posted it and i was like oh cool but, so but like what it is, does what help. is this petition gonna do i don't fucking know but it's probably it's still again it's better than not doing anything and I, it was better I, than... I, I say it's actively worse than not doing anything because in terms of the change it's going to bring about, yeah. it is equivalent to not doing anything, and it makes you complicit. You I say, know, I've like done my part. Petitions do stuff. Petitions don't do anything. Petitions, to petition I the mean, government... In theory, they should. The idea is to petition the government to redress grievances. That's yeah. the right guaranteed by the First Amendment. Yeah. The government, at this point, the federal government is well aware of the fact that people no. have a problem with this. Okay. They say no, or they don't have the authority to do okay. these things, or, you know, fucking whatever. Whatever yeah. the fuck happens or doesn't I, happen. Petitioning the government is meant to be a way to signal to the government that you have a problem. Yeah. This is a well-known issue. Petitioning is not... This, I, that is step zero, and we're on, like, step four or five. Those who make look, non-violent revolution impossible make violent revolution inevitable. Yes. That's the look, sort of precipice that we're looking at. Frankly, that's the sort of place that we're at with all these riots going on. And what else are you going to so fucking excited. do? What else are you going to say when you say, yeah, we, we kneel during the national anthem. Yeah. And you people... That was ridiculous. The president, the president frankly, like, stepping well outside of his authority, but still tried to, or at least spoke about, shutting down the NFL. That was uh, uh, Trump? Yes. That's fucking psychotic. Colin Kaepernick kneeled during the national anthem and Donald Trump said, well, we'll have to look into whether we can get him fired. What a psychopath fucking thing to do. I mean, like, he wasn't really playing much, but, but again, it was still It's fucking really crazy playing. that a guy is like, I'm going to make a political statement using my platform about, again, something like race, which in my opinion is objectively, there is good and there is bad. Yeah, black and white. <laughs> Like, <laughs> I get it. Got him. But you know we can I mean? make it's... those jokes because racism doesn't exist anymore. Because exactly. we, we, you and I, it. ended it about, oh, four minutes ago. But, like, my point is that it's, like, I don't understand, again, how, like, it's, it's, it's not an opinion piece. Like, this is literally, like, black people are not worse than white people and that's it. Like, it's not an opinion. It's, like, a fact. And I don't understand how people are allowed to have the opinion that they're better than other people. Well... It's fucking crazy. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we ended racism because that does sound crazy. Seriously, if, if well, we have... This should be the one episode that we fucking promote finally because goddamn. Anyway. I guess we'll, we'll tune in next time to hear about Drive. <laughs> See you later, pod racers. Fuck. <laughs>